Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for iPad today is provided by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. Coming up, it's a bittersweet symphony, this life. That's why we're going to try to make ends meet by managing our tasks better. I know that song. <laughs> Plus, Koala reinvents itself. Facebook really reinvents itself. And to buy or not to buy a clam case. All that, and Leo and I go head to head in an audio app cap showdown on iPad today. iPad Today is brought to you by Go to My PC. Download the free Go to My PC app at work from anywhere, anytime, right from your iPad. Visit gotomypc.com for your free 30 day trial and use the promo code iPad. And by Gazelle, the easy way to sell or recycle the used gadgets lying around your home or office. Don't just sell it, gazelle it. Gazelle your used gadgets today at gazelle.com. And by Slingbox, which just turned your iPad into a television. Slingbox introduces their new iPad app, so now you can watch your home TV on your iPad anywhere you take it. Check it out at Best Buy or Slingbox.com. Uh, a little slow on the uptake I know, this I'm not week, so good with my Lord. fingers. You didn't have your cappuccino before the show, obviously. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, that's good because now you won't get a crash about 45 minutes in. Where it gets it's really, really funny. I'm, I start the show buzzed. It's and then psycho, by, kind and then, of. And it's like, uh, In fact, uh, we got a couple of people last week saying, were you guys okay? <laughs> I mean, were you drinking at lunch? I know you guys have lunch catered on you know Thursdays. Or I love no. doing this show so much, Sarah, that I actually get giddy with excitement. Really? Just to get to sit next to you. Oh, please. I feel like sixth grade when I got to hold hands with Kathy Silberthaw in the, cl- in the class play. I'll never forget that moment. Fifth grade? Mm-hmm. Wow. You started late. I was kissing in first. Just, I mean, not like time. I believe that, actually. Just, I, was just, <laughs> I don't know why. I was a very forward child. Just, She's the same height, too, yeah. by the way. So and They always left because I wouldn't shut up. Really? Yeah. They're like, oh, I've had enough of you. So you were a blabbermouth when you were young? Because you're, you're not such a blabbermouth anymore. <laughs> are you? I, I mean, have we met? <laughs> <laughs> My name's Leo. Nice Hi, to I'm meet Sarah. you. How are you? Hey, really today good. we're going to talk about <laughs> tasks. Now, yeah. this is not to-do lists. No. The tasks are more of like, it's, it's organizational. We, we all have to do, we all have tasks in our life. I mean, even if you're like, well, I'm not really into task managers. I just sort no. of let things come as they, as they may. But whether it's a mental list of things that you need to do or, or, or you know, when, 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 I don't know, your laundry basket gets full enough, then you got to go to the, laundry, uh, the dry cleaner. It's like all that stuff, those are all tasks. You know what David Allen, the that. guy who wrote the Getting Things Done book, says? He says, some things like your laundry basket getting full, you don't need to write down on a list because it's going to get full and you're going to know you have right. to do it. But some things you'll forget you won't get done, and, and that's why the task list is important. But life is complicated, and I think this little iPad is really kind of a great compadre, a partner to help you get things in your life organized a little bit. Especially since the iPad has become, we know with all these cloud-based services, it can sync up to everything else in your life. So it's not as if you have to have everything on your iPad itself. One thing uh, that I want to mention, which is the best calendar, it's just so much better than the native iPad calendar, which I know in iOS 5 is going to be reinvented a little bit itself. We've had our complaints. We've talked about that in I the don't past. like the lion calendar, so if it looks more like the lion calendar, I'm going to be unhappy. Well, I, that's, I think that's the whole idea, it is, is that it's, it's going to be closer to the... Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. It's just... It's okay. So it's what's just better than this? Agenda. And we've talked about agenda in the past, and it was only Downloading for right iPhone, now. so you had to blow it up, you know, to 2X. But it was so good that I still recommended it over the native calendar, um, and now Agenda Calendar has been reinvented. So it's universal. Uh, it's by a company called App Savvy. And they're great. We've talked about this in the past, but it looks so much better as a universal app. I mean, I'm looking at just my calendar. Um, and by the way, I have mobile me calendars, uh, which are great because then they're completely synced up over all of my Apple devices. Does this work Google with Google? Calendar. It does work with yeah, Google Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, because my Twit TV uh, goes through a Google Calendar, right, and that's all right. very important. So I'm looking at just a variety of months here, and obviously we're in September, so I can go into you know any sort of day in September. I know why like you like this. It's very clean. Very clean. 
It's very, not. There's no. There's no design elements. You know. There's. There's so much leather and stitching. On I don't the, want uh, that. I don't want that either. No. And and yeah, I like. Not only is it clean. But it's got a good look to it. I mean, everything's yeah. color coded. You know, I went to the dentist last Thursday, and that's you know that's my personal. My personal is blue. Um, and then I've got iPad today. I actually have a couple different iPads today because I have multiple calendars in here. But you know, I had to get my car repaired. That was at eight. You know, this is. I mean, calendar stuff is not um, you know rocket science. Everyone knows how to put together a calendar. But it's also about the way that not only can you input entries into your calendar, but you can swipe between days in this nice little way. You've got, uh, um, if you wanted to click into a certain task, and I'm calling these tasks, these are calendar entries, but of course people often use calendars sure. to list tasks or you know what you need to do later type of a thing. Go in and edit something. This of course is something that happened in the past. I went to a Giants game with Prager, but you know I reminded myself when it started and ended, blah, blah, blah. But um, it also has a lot of different views. So if I just want to go into, I'm looking at a day view, you know, I've got my week view, um, which is nice. And, and this, people will say, okay, well, uh, calendars are self-explanatory, but this does not look like the native iPad calendar. So if you have any issues with the calendar, but you're the kind of person who needs to be able to write everything down, or else you're going to forget to show up at the neurologist and you're like me then you need something that's going to work for you. And I really like the layout. You know, Saturday and Sunday are, are condensed, uh, which makes sense because a lot of times most of the stuff that I'm doing as far as tasks during the week just don't end up happening on the weekend. But you can fool around with that if you want to. And obviously adding new entries is as easy as pie. This area looks just like it would on the iPad or the iPhone. It does. Which is also yeah. really nice. Yeah. So you don't get confused like, well, I love Agenda, but it's really, you know, out of left field. It's got its own design but it's very uh, intuitive. I really like this. I just I uh, installed it. I think this is great. And I liked it before it was even a universal app. Yeah. In fact, the people you at used Agenda... used it as an iPhone app. I did. Yeah. But it worked fine on the iPad. It was just... Because, you know, it's just text. Right. You know, if there are images involved, it doesn't really matter if you're just blowing something up. But the folks at, um, at App Savvy did ping me and said... We have a universal app. We hope you like it. And I really, really do. So I'm glad that they let me know because I might not have noticed this in my app uh, updates otherwise because this was a big week of app updates. My goodness. You know, I have recommended in the past Pocket and Format HD as an app replacement, it's, but it's much more busy. It has lots of tabs and, you know, it's a much more complicated app. Um, but if you need more features, that's a that's a good choice uh, for an app. How much, how much though, is, is this one? This is the, the one the 99 agenda. cents. That's cheap. So it's a buck. I like it's a, it. It's a buck for... It's calendar. very clean. Yeah, I mean, it's and it we're it's 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 great. I, I don't know. I mean, it's 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 as fully featured as any calendar that you're going to get otherwise. And for a dollar, a dollar is worth it to me to upgrade from the iPad app. That it just I don't like that calendar. I don't ever use it. So I needed something else. So there you go. That's at uh, getappsavvy.com/agenda. No, I think it's funny that your second recommendation isn't an app at all. No, it's not. And many of you <laughs> might be familiar with this because it's gotten a lot of love lately. I the, love it. And it were, the reason that we're talking about this on iPad today is that it helps you manage tasks that involve apps that we run on iPads, but it also has a great interface in Safari on an iPad. And this is ifttt.com. If you've never heard of this, that stands for if this then that. Oh. Did you not know that? I thought it was just if. Well, that's what you called it yesterday, and I laughed a little, <laughs> but I didn't correct if you. If this, then that. If this, then that. So, and we're kind of familiar with those sorts of statements. And it, yeah, if you're if you're a programmer, you'll recognize it right away. Totally. But even if you're not, it's it's pretty intuitive. You didn't have any difficulty figuring it out. No, not at all. So let me show you one of the tasks that. This will make you happy, Leo, because this is something that you used to complain about, that Instagram did not sync up with Dropbox, so everything was stuck in Instagram. I you really wanted that. to save yeah. your photos elsewhere. Yeah. No more. No more, Laporte. I have set up a task uh, that says, if I take a new photo on Instagram, then it's automatically synced to my Dropbox folder. Interesting. Yeah. So, and, it, and, I mean, I've been running it for a couple of weeks. It works like a dream. It looks like because you got an Instagram icon there that it knows about things like Instagram and Dropbox. you actually got icons. Yeah, it actually does. So if you go ahead and create a new task. So I'm just starting from scratch. Uh, it, it's sort of like, okay, let's start with your this. This is where you're starting from. And now there are some trigger channels here. And if this, then that has uh, done a really good job of putting together most of the obvious ones. 
Um, you know, if I send a tweet, let's start with that and then I'm going to add some sort of an action afterwards. If I upload a YouTube video, if I make a post on Tumblr, if I uh, scrabble a song to Last FM, and so on. You know, if, if uh, you know, I get it a Google a Talk message. There are so many. And yeah. have you found as you've used it that they've added more? Yes. Yeah, actually I have. Okay. Um, and I'm not sure... Uh, I use it for a couple happens. of things. I use it for Twitter. Uh -huh. um, I'll have, uh, you know, I have a special Twitter account for links for shows that we use. So when I bookmark something on Pinboard, it automatically sends it to Twitter. It tweets it. Right. Things like that are really handy. Chad uses it to schedule tweets. So if a show's coming up, he'll say, well, if for this afternoon, make sure you tweet this. And he says it even gives you a chance to edit it before you do it. Yeah. Because That's really you can nice. set reminders. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's it's awesome. So what I did in this case, of course, was I said, if let's start with something different. So I'll say, if uh, you know, I, I check into well, okay, I haven't activated my Foursquare channel. So then you have to go through the process of going ahead and saying, okay, I want to you know put these two. So you could say together. like, if I checked in at the Brick Twit House, that's right. Get the coffee maker going. Well, then you'd have to have a robot involved, and we're not quite there yet. But I could Robots. say, when I check into the Twit uh, Brick House, remind me via SMS right, or to start the coffee I like that, going. by the way. The SMS, I use that a lot. Yeah. So that it'll, it'll text message you to remind you to do something or, you know. Totally. Yeah. I mean. Sa it, I could have it. You could, when Sarah checks in, let me know so I can go out the back door. That kind of thing. You know what this is? What is this? This is Yahoo Pipes. Do you remember it Yahoo is. Pipes? It is. It's I still, used to love yeah. playing around with Did Yahoo you use pipes? pipes. Is it still live? I think so. I don't know in the in the new Yahoo. Well, I, I know. I, 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 I'm never but. quite sure what services Yahoo has yeah, axed really. and what services yeah. are actually usable anymore. But what's nice is the whole idea is you're putting together. It's like it's a little pipe, uh, uh, you know, actionable item. So. Here's what's cool. Let's say I put together a task like, oh, I'd love to sync my Instagram photos to Dropbox. But then maybe you're like, yeah, well, I'm sort of done with that. I'm out of ideas. Here's what's nice. You can get inspiration from recipes. Recipes mean no. these are other tasks that oh, people okay. have put together. I thought it cooked for you. No, oh. that would still require a robot. <laughs> We're not there yet. But, okay. What is G N tilde E? I that's don't Twitter know. to Twitter. Maybe that, some of these. Yeah. This, these are just, people make these. Yeah. These these are recipes that I can decide that I want to adopt as well. That's really This is neat. also, you can choose once you put together a task to make it public or not. So this is not like if you had some sort of a, I don't know, that, something personal. It doesn't necessarily need to be on the recipes page. Right. But uh, that Chris Hahn says, when a new epic rap battles of history is uploaded <laughs> to YouTube, I want a text. Gosh darn it. Oh, that's neat. Yeah. So you can monitor an RSS feed. Yeah. Wow. Exactly. That Let is me know if cool. it's going to rain. I'd like to know that. Bring an umbrella. I want a text when I wake up in the morning. And can you tell it what the text says? You could say, you know, bring an umbrella, Leo, because it's going to rain. Well, I mean. Yeah. yeah. You can. Yeah. So, and then, uh, right. So you get the idea. IFTTT.com is it. the website. It is so helpful. And it's just kind of fun. It's kind of fun to figure out what combinations you can make that will make your life easier. Let the tasks do themselves for you. Now, I am going to show you a couple of programs that are similar. In fact, they, they really overlap quite a bit. And to me, these are uh, kind of ways to make lists that are very much more freeform. We'll start with Bento, which comes to you from FileMaker, the FileMaker folks. FileMaker uh, does uh, uh, databases for Mac and Windows. They also make one for Mac that's very simple called Bento, and that's what this is. So Bento comes with a bunch of, uh, of libraries that you could start with. Address book, to-do list, projects, inventory, notes. But these are just starting points. Let's say I use the recipes. I can then further edit it and design it to change it around, rearrange it, and it makes really nice looking forms in effect that you can then fill in it's so really, it's really good looking uh, isn't that great so yeah. i'm going to do a new uh, dish i can add a, uh, a picture for it i can name it here um so this becomes a form that i've custom designed um and you and you see if we've got some pre-populated ones you can see what they what they would look like you can rate it but all of this is programmable it's a database and that's the that's the key to this if i look at the address book uh for instance it's funny for this type of content i really like that book look and feel yeah I think it works really well it does have the stitching this capacity, doesn't it yeah now this is what's interesting this pre-populated this from my existing contact list on 
uh, on my uh, iPad. So the address oh. book, now I'm not sure why you'd want a separate address book from the iPad address book. Maybe it's just a starting point for a, a Christmas card list or something like that. To-do items, uh, same thing. You can, uh, you can have priorities. You can have drop-down boxes. You can have completion dates. You can add URLs. There's a lot, you know, a lot of flexibility. But again, these are all completely programmable. And you notice you can even change the background, which will kind of let you know what it is uh, you're looking at. You can add records to more than one collection. It's not a relational database in the sense that you can link across databases. It's a simple database, and that's, that's the idea. Here's the various uh, themes we can use. There's the clipboard. There's black and gray. There's the pages of a book, which I kind of like. Um, yeah, there are people who don't really take advantage of syncing. It's like they want one destination as if it was a physical clipboard. Like, here is where the right. information is. If you have Bento on the desktop, this syncs back and forth. Oh, you could des do you your go. designing on the desktop. Um, it has passcode protection as well. And uh, so the syncing uh, does require Bento for the Mac, which is not free. So you need to buy both the programs, but they're not expensive. I think Bento for the Mac is $40. It's very inexpensive. And here's this one's you... $4.99. Yeah, so 5 bucks for the app, 40 bucks on the desktop. You can go back and forth. It's a great way to get projects, to-do lists, that kind of thing in there. But Bento is very pretty. Here's something that is the same idea, but a little bit uh, simpler. It's called Tap Forms. Same idea, though. You can create your own forms, and they have quite a lot of different forms. You know, for instance, frequent flyer numbers, uh, I can have software licenses. This would be a great way to keep track of all the software. Oh, you can encrypt it with I strong encryption. Uh, it supports Dropbox, so the form is backed up and automatically populated. And look at all the forms. There are far more forms, actually, than Bento. Uh, audio dictation, business accounts. These are just pre-populated. Of course, you can make your own. I like the driver's license area. Isn't that fun? You Don't, just... I mean, doesn't everyone know their number? Well, but you can I have all not. this information, yeah. additional information. It's just personal stuff. You can print from it, which is kind of nice. You know, I like seeing the ability to print. That's the email so to get it out of there, delete that draft. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a, you know, basically another database uh, of, of, uh, that allows you a flat file database to do homework assignments, important dates, passport information, garage health cards, door code. Garage. This is great. Well, these please are just me, examples. Please tell me so. there's a passcode that you can toggle on and off for this guy. There is. It's, in fact, the encryption <laughs> is strong encryption using AES, so you can absolutely keep this very private, uh, even if it's syncing to uh, your Dropbox. Um, I like it just for the frequent flyer miles. Watch this. I can launch tap forms on another device and beam a record or a form from this device to that device. Whoa. Like bump. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that cool? But you cool? don't actually have to bump them? You don't have to bump them. You can have alerts. That's great. You can have uh, favorites. Of course, it's got a complete search function. Uh, I think this is, a, this is pretty sophisticated. It supports uh, saving also via web or FTP. So if you, if you know what that means, then you know that means there's other ways that you can uh, get the database out of a uh, tab form. Here's the passcode lock. You can auto lock immediately. You can have it locked out um, and so forth. Uh, if if you have 10 attempts of failed passcode, then you can lock it out forever. Things like that. Um, I think this is nice. This is a little more powerful than Bento, yeah. uh, but a little less pretty. So if you want simple and pretty, Bento is a great choice. And Bento has a desktop app. Uh, if you want to just create these great forms yourself, I can't remember if Tapforms has a desktop app or not. I'm not sure, actually. But I, I like it. I think it's very powerful, and it's not It's not very expensive. It's nine bucks. Yeah. Tapforms.com yeah. if you want to just take I'm a look. Just, I'm just going to go look check. I, I, I wish I remembered, and I just my, my brain is going. They do have a free light version. Oh, they uh, do? Yeah, that you can uh, use as well. And I'm just trying to see. Well, I wonder what they wouldn't have on the light version since the paper version is $9 is not going to break the bank. It but probably has a limited number of... Uh, right, right, of, right. Of, uh, yeah. They're not, they're, they're, by the way, they've had this on the iPhone for some time, but I don't think they have a standalone app. So uh, you would want to sync it or upload it to a website, that kind of thing, to get that data off of your iPad. Um, this is a, a nice, very simple... Um, nice little uh, piece of software. I think Bento and uh, Tap Forms do basically the same thing. You'd have to pick the one you like the best. Well, we definitely have a good variety of tasks. I love that agenda. Based. I'm going to use that from now on. That's you great. You said that last time I showed you, and Did then I? you forgot no, all about it. No, but you know why it. I didn't? I don't like using iPhone apps on the iPad. I know. You're more of a purist I want native. than I. I well, so I do too. So now that it's native, I can use it. But if, you, if it's not possible, I still, you know, I still like. Uh, I don't like the times two thing. It just bugs me. Well, you're going to love our... <laughs>
<laughs> our next, our, our right, next have, conversation. Do we have more? Do we have more? Well, uh, I want. Well, to I talk wanted about? to. Yeah, I mean, after after the break, right. uh, you can you can get as frustrated as you like. Uh, but for now, we did show you some task management tools. It's kind of it's like a it's a word category. They're all task related, but they all do very different things. If you missed anything, and I know some of you did, because I can see in chat people were saying, "What was what the that? name of that? What's that? What's that? Huh? What's, What's that? that? What? What? Do not fret." Because we put everything we talk about in our show notes on all of our episode pages of iPad Today. And if you don't know the URL, you do, but I'll tell you anyway. It's twit.tv slash IPT. That's where you can watch all of our old shows. You can subscribe to future shows. This is kind of just, this is the information center. So any of the episodes that you missed in the past, um, you just go into that episode page. Make sure all of our links should be on the main page. And then there's even more detailed information if you click into our show notes. Sometimes they take, you know, a couple hours after the episode goes up to go live. But we, we, we make sure that you're not uh, left in the dust. I'm excited. But, but if you ever are, you can just email us. And we'll be happy yes. to, to point you in the right direction if you ever have a question about any of the stuff that we talk about. Quick reminder, if you're watching us live, we... Uh, we Love to have you. Uh, if you're not watching us live, it's 1.30 <laughs> p.m. on Thursdays, which is 4.30 p.m. Eastern. I noticed on uh, mostly uh, mostly a Twit photo on Tuesday, you were like, 1.30 p.m. Thursday, and Catherine said, it's Tuesday. Oh, that would be iPad today. <laughs> I could use you same, and Catherine. I have the same problem. You're just like a tiny Catherine. Catherine and I are the same. She just is much more talented and twice my height. She's not much more talented. She's, she's a brilliant photographer. And I am not. And, you, and that's why I love watching Twit Photo, because I learn stuff. And that's why I look at your Instagram feed all the time. Yeah? Yeah. Because I'm not very good? Nah. <laughs> Makes me feel better. <laughs> hey, we have a wiener. We do? Congratulations. Yeah. Remember we were giving away an iPad? Well, I'll tell you about that in a second. Oh, yeah. First, I want to tell... Yes. First, I want to tell you a little bit about Go to My PC. Have you ever used your desktop computer from your iPad? It is... Mind-boggling, incredible, uh, and all that you can't need work. it does. All you need is go to my PC. In fact, what you do is, if you're at work and that's the computer you want to access, or you want your home computer, you log on to go to my PC.com. You click the orange "Try It Free" button and use use our promo code iPad, and you can get 30 days free of go to my PC. Then go to the iTunes Store on uh, or the App Store on your iPad, or I think or on your iPhone too, and you can download the Go to My PC app from Citrix. It's free. And now you can use your iPad, and log in your GoToMyPC account, and use your Mac or your PC anywhere you go. You get a keyboard. You can send and receive email. You can access any network resource. You can run programs. It is absolutely the best remote access out there for the iPad. But it doesn't have to be the iPad. You could also use a computer, use a hotel's computer, use a library, anywhere you can get online. You could use Go to My PC. I just love it. It sets up in minutes. You don't need any help for the IT department. It's always secure, 128-bit SSL, so you can even use it at a coffee shop. In fact, it's one way to surf safely at a coffee shop. You don't need a VPN. Just go to My PC. So we announced last week on the show that we were going to give away an iPad 2 to some viewer. We asked you to tweet. Remember the, the hashtag? 1,080 tweets later, we have a winner. We randomly selected from our 1,080 tweets. <laughs> Chad Wolf, C Wolf 73 on Twitter. C Wolf 73, C -Wolf congratulations. You have won an iPad too. Yes, compliments of Citrix and go to my PC. Wow. So how do we get him that? I don't know. No idea. But you now, you know, you're a wiener. Chad Wolf. Yay, Chad. Way to go. Congratulations. I hope you're in Ch Ch Chad, if you're in chat... Show yourself. Oh, congratulations, Chad Wolf. Yeah. They're not, you know, Chad's very friendly because they're they're saying congratulations, Chad. That's wonderful. I know. Yeah, I love our chat room. Yeah, very they're, nice. They're good. They're good folks. It is That's not awesome. Chad Johnson. It's not it Chad not, Johnson. It is not OMG Our Chad. employee did not win the iPad too. Although I, I did sure think I saw him to. jumping up and down back there. And he was like, "Wait, my last name isn't Wolf. <laughs> it could be." Montez says, "Congratulations, jerk." Congratulations. <laughs> Anyway, Chad Wolf 73. So, uh, let's see. What's happening in the world at large? Well, so there's quite a bit going on in the world of location apps. Uh, location apps, I think I love them more than you love them. I. Uh, what's your highest score in Foursquare? Highest score? You know, the uh, most I got points? I to like fourth once. No, but I mean like the number of points you've accumulated. Oh, I always, I always just, I look at my ranking. Uh, yeah, I don't yeah, care yeah. about my points. Yeah, I, I have care. no idea. Well, I think it'll tell me. What 182 my, for me. I think, what see is what, it? See what you got. 182? 182? Yeah. All right, all right. Let's see. You know, 
it, the like uh, the people who uh, live in New York City, they get like six or Baratunde is my high, high is two sixty five. I hate you. Yeah, well, hate you. I'm committed. <laughs> I'm committed to location. You check in everywhere you go. You know who has I like, check. You know what's your high score, Lisa? She's got like six hundred fifty is her high score. Really? She checks in. She checks. She will. She's driving across the Golden Gate Bridge. She'll check in at the beginning, the middle, and the end. How much? How much? Four sixty. Oh, I, I was going to be impressed. Well, that's pretty high. <laughs> anyway, I like these apps. I do. I do. Don't think. Don't get me wrong. You. You actually. You've gotten back into Foursquare. I you like. Had, you I've had decided. Kinda, you've kind of like. Eh. You know why? Because uh, I was using Gowala. I was using Foursquare. I was using Whirl. I was using Ditto. I was. I mean, there's so many of yes, them. Yes. There's. There are too many. Actually. And I finally just decided Foursquare is it. And when I check in on Instagram or Pick Please, it checks in on Foursquare. So Foursquare is it for me. Good. Well, then you'll love the fact that Foursquare has added lists where you can create a list like must eat places in Petaluma. Yeah. So that other people who are your Foursquare friends now can check out your list when they come to a certain area. Or it could be, you know, it doesn't even have to be Petaluma based. It could be uh, best meals around the globe. Yeah, um, or, or famous monuments. Or famous it monuments. Have to be, it could just be anything that you wear, a place you would check in. Exactly. Now, but again, there is one of its... They don't have an iPad. And I don't really get it. I mean, it's like... Koala has a great but iPad. But see, here, here's the deal. I, I agree with you that... What is that picture, by the way? That is would me. Would you update that? Why? I like it. It's a really old picture. It's very dramatic. It's actually like, not my hand. It's Sarah it's Bernhardt. It's someone else's hand. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. But you'd never know because it looks like I'm like in a backhand. Yeah, somebody. yeah. That's, what that's I why thought. I like it because it makes me look like I'm strong. <laughs> you are strong. But forget about the the profile picture. Let's look at some lists. So this <laughs> little list area has been updated, and now um, these are suggested <coughs> lists. You um, have 28 things to do on your list. I know. Well, the, the, those are those are my to dos that I have. I've, I've oh, that set you've for made. Myself. Yeah, sometimes when you check, if someone checks in somewhere and goes like, mmm, best veggie burger ever, I'll mm. put that on my to-do list, which is a feature of Facebook as well. But uh, let me go and view more lists. You know, it's here. so funny because when Facebook debuted Places more than a year ago, everybody said, well, that's it for Foursquare. Meantime, Foursquare got four million new members and Facebook's killed Places. This is the one, I think. Seriously. So we can trip to Mendocino. All right. Uh, I've been to Mendocino in my life, but I haven't been there in a number of years. I wouldn't even know where to start. These are uh, Timothy S's. Lala's is great. Suggestions. Wait a minute, that's just down the corner. Oh, well, why is he? Well, I guess because he <coughs> drove up through Petaluma on the way it's to on Mendocino. on the way. You stop okay. and have an ice cream. So it's the whole thing. You can go to Two Fish Baking Company up at Sea Ranch. Mm -hmm. Go to the Elk, stay at the Elk Cove Inn. This is all just, it's, I don't know, it's, it's helpful stuff. I like this idea. If you and trust that guy. Right. And Well, I know him. He's oh, you a, do? Yeah, okay. he's Tim Shea at Next New. Uh, but, uh, oh, I love Tim. Yeah. Okay. And then you can create a list as well. So if you're, you know, if you're like, here are the best bars in the city. I can vouch for them. I kind of want to be an expert. I want people to get something out of it. You can create a list like that. Or you could not create a list and just keep them all to yourself. But I like this feature because it's not just about I was here. Right. You can help start, you can start curating your isn't, places. Isn't Gowala doing something similar with that? Well, go, okay. Well, I'm glad you asked that, Leo. <laughs> I set up. Glad set you asked up. that. Segway extraordinaire. <laughs> Gowala. Okay, so here's here's actually my beef with with Gowala's app. Because they have a great... Look at that beautiful app. This is a beautiful app, but... Oh, wait a minute. Hey. That's not the iPad app. No, it's not. So here's the deal. Gowalla, um, back I love their last iPad year, app. Uh, early last year, Gowalla was one of the first location companies to invest in a beautiful iPad app. It was specifically for the iPad app. Right. It wasn't even a universal app. They had an iPhone version and an iPad version. And Gowalla has been kind of pummeled in the geolocation yeah. space. Four, you know, it's, it was always pitted against Foursquare. Yeah. Gowalla never really wanted to be the Foursquare no. competitor, but that's just the way that it went. Yeah. And they they have gone rogue. They've gone maverick. But the deal is, is that well, they've only Austin. gone rogue with their iPhone app. So that's what I'm running here. So if you've got an issue with that, if you have Goala for <sighs> iPad, it will not update. You actually have to what? you have to install the iPhone app. They're two different apps. Now. Are they going to do that? What do you mean? Are they going to give us a, n a native? Because look how beautiful this uh, iPad app is. I know. Is. I just, it's, a, I love it's, it. it's great. Here's all the places. But the thing is, is that it's not brick enough brick people are using it. I mean, that's it. You know, but you don't see like company pivots unless 
They well, need pivot to the, the iPad like app, would you? Yeah, I know. Well, I think that this is a proof of concept. And, and what's really neat about it is, is that it's all based on trips that you might be taking. Um, so if I was going to go to Yosemite, for example, I haven't been to Yosemite in a long time either. I've all, all, all sorts of stuff I have to do. This becomes... Uh, a, a guide of sorts. It's really a travel guide. Like in a city, it could be a walking guide or in Yosemite, you know, you make sure you don't miss the scenic lookout. How is lookout. this different though than the, the lists on uh, Foursquare? Is it pretty much the same? Well, because Gowalla has hired people to oh, curate. it's not just some guide. But it's not just, yeah, it's not just that they have a team of editors. It's a combination of curation and user data. Got it. So, I mean, if it's like... If, if enough people check into Yosemite Falls every time they're in Yosemite National Park, then Gowalla takes that as like a, that's a must see. A must see. Got yeah, it. because you want that Got picture it. of yourself in front of the water. That could be smart. That could work. So it's much more of a, you're going to a destination, we're going to give you some fun ideas when you're in Bangkok. So would you use this to check in still? Or yes. No, you yeah. do. You can still even use this to check into Foursquare. Right. Which is something That's that Gowalla started offering yeah. uh, back in the yeah. day. But they don't want to be a, you just check in here and leave a breadcrumb trail for yourself. Because too many other people are doing that. Mm -hmm. Now it is a, you're going to go to a new place. You're, want, you're going to definitely want to go to the Siam Paragon. And it'll tell you a little bit about it. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's stuff to read. You see a variety of photos taken at the Siam Paragon. It almost has like the color app type of a thing going on, but it's specific. It's not just a bunch of pictures that don't make sense. These are a bunch of pictures that had to do with the Paragon. I guess it's in their uh, adjacent cafe. It's, it strikes me. <laughs> and the hallway. It strikes me that this was a pivot they couldn't make until there was enough data from people checking in that they could act. Because if you'd done this when they first started out, everything would have been blank. Right. Well, I think that that's also why they have a team that's helping propagate a lot of the stuff. Ah. I mean, who's writing the about Somebody has to create paragraphs. that stuff. Yeah. Right. So it's... Yeah. it's uh, and I think that that is something that um, many services have found beneficial. I mean, like, look at TechMeme. TechMeme isn't just an algorithm. They have people placing stuff, working with an algorithm. So it's not all math and it's not all emotion. Anyway, so that's the new Gowalla. It's not a universal iPad app um, yet, but it is cool. And it's worth checking out if you've always thought of Gowalla as that other Foursquare thing that, you know, you might not have used. Um, and then we should just definitely point out that Instagram 2.0 is here as well. You've yes, updated, I've played course. with it. I actually like the uh, new filters. It's got live filters, which is cool. Yeah, this is awesome. So if I was going to take a picture, and of course this is my crappy iPad 2 camera, so take That's that into That's the only, yeah, you know, who wants to use this on an iPad God, 2? God, that looks but... like really crappy, like more crappy than usual. <laughs> I don't know what it's the deal is It's not so that. good, is it? No, nah, it really isn't. So if I take a picture, now I can go ahead and apply a variety of different filters just to see what's going on here. Um, they have new filters. What they don't actually, the only thing... Like they got if I, frames you could turn off. Yeah, on frames too. on and off, which is helpful. Uh, you can rotate pictures, you know, if you were like taking a picture out, out of a moving vehicle and it was at a really weird angle, you know, you can, you can clean that up a bit. Um, what they they also changed do, a little bit with the uh, tilt shift, but I like the new tilt shift. Here's, th here's what they did. They, tilt shift is still, so let's say I just want to, I just want to focus at the base of that that mount thing there. That's fine. What they used to have was a little slider that allowed you to... Uh, uh, the degree change. of shift. Yeah, the, you know, how, how yes. blurry do you want the, the unshifted to be? And you can't do that anymore. And that's a little bit of a gripe that I have. But I know Instagram pays attention to a lot of user data. This is how they make a lot of their decisions on, you know, what to implement and what to take away. And they probably found that I was in the minority. People Most people just added a blur and didn't care. Yeah, they couldn't figure it so out. So that, that's my only gripe. Otherwise, uh, much more features. Uh, you know, I mean, Instagram is just totally one of my go-tos. I don't uh, use it to take a lot of pictures from the iPad uh, just because the camera's bad. But I definitely use it to look through my through my pictures. Right. I also look through using Well, we showed a, an iPad app for uh, going through Instagram galleries. It was uh, Insta Gallery, I think it was called. It was pretty nice. Yeah. But if you have an iPhone, you got to have Instagram. You have to. You just can't not have it. Right. And now the you know the, the you know the, the the filters are better and what what they also do is they allow you to save high res uh, images. 
why they didn't let you why they didn't let you do that before eh. boggles well, I think my they mind. wanted to keep everything go, uh, as, as quick as possible Instagram right. has always been pretty good with um, being snappy and they just had to figure out how to keep things snappy but allow you to to upgrade a little bit you know I was talking to somebody the other day who said he's sure that you know October 4th I guess is now when Apple's gonna have its a uh, fall event they'll probably announce two new iPhones in fact Al Gore confirmed that it's going to be two iPhones. Oh, he did not. He did two. He said, he said iPhones. He didn't say two he iPhones. Said z. He said he new said z. iPhones in October. And you know what that means? New iPhones. That means more than one iPhone two. will be sold in October. Oh. Two or more. Two. Two billion, maybe. <laughs> Well, somebody else, not the vice former vice president, somebody else said there's definitely going to be a new iPad. Oh, well, I don't think, I don't know. I well, mean, depends on in, who you ask. Just in case. Who's this person who seems to know so much? Oh, what do you mean? What do you mean? Come on. I have my sources. Oh. He, it was at a bar. Uh-huh. Was it called Cava 22? <laughs> yes. <laughs> so here's the deal. Here's the deal. I just want you to, in the back of your mind, when the time comes that you want a new iPad or uh -huh. a new iPhone or, uh -huh. or an Android phone or uh -huh. just, you know, want to get rid of some of the stuff that's accumulating, the clutter the, that's filling up the your closet. The junk drawer. The junk drawer. Of electronics. Drawer. It's a junk room for me. you got to go to Gazelle. G-A-Z-E-L-L-E dot com. Don't sell it. Gazelle. Here's what the, you, you enter in your gadget. They've got over a quarter of a million different gadgets that they know about. Tens of thousands, I mean, well, thousands of different, I think 2,000 categories. You enter it in, they'll, they, you tell it what condition it's in and so forth, and they'll tell you what it's worth. And you throw it in a box, and you get more stuff. And you throw it in a box, you keep throwing it in a box. Then they say, here's their mailing label. You, you put it on the box, and you mail it to Gazelle. Their data specialists go through it. They check the condition and make sure it matches the condition you specify, of course. And they even wipe your personal data, which I think is great. So you don't have to worry if you're sending back a PDA or a phone. They'll wipe it for you. And then they send you a check or magic, an Amazon gift card. I think you get an extra 5% if you get an Amazon gift card. They'll send you a Walmart card. You can get it any way you want. And, and it's just such the nicest feeling because you get rid of all this clutter and you get, a, and you get money for it. And, and I, you know, I was just checking my iPhone 3GS, 173 bucks. So that, that's how I could buy a new iPhone. I could trade in Jennifer's 3GS and get her to do the new iPhone 4S or the iPhone 5. Maybe I could trade in this big old 17-inch MacBook Pro I You're demanded. Sick You're sick of it, aren't you? It's too big. It's so heavy. It's too big. I told you, know you I warned you. how big my messenger bag is? <laughs> I had to buy the biggest messenger you wanted, bag in the world. You wanted a giant. I did. I, and I, and I, I did. I, I, I tried to talk you out of it. You did. Everyone did. I did I listen? No. But you're no. doing. you were doing video editing and stuff like that. Yeah, no, it's, it's actually very good for that. Well, you do. Your one-year term is up. We could we'll get you a new computer every year. You heard it here. I get a new computer. <laughs> I love this job. You should have an air. You really should have an air. I know. We should trade that in for an air. Yeah. Uh, anyway, go to Gazelle. I could, we could probably sell it. We could put it on Gazelle. We'll see how much money we get for that. That was why I said that, yeah. That's right, yeah. And if, by the way, if it's you, if they can't sell it, like it's so old and, and, and it doesn't work, they recycle it responsibly using EPA certified ISO 9001 or 14001 certified recycling partners like Cloud Blue. No landfill, no offshoring. It will be handled properly. I just think Gazelle is great. Great way to raise money for your charity, too, by the way. Uh, you can have the money sent to a charity. They'll even do a charity page uh, for your, you know, Gazelle gadget drive. G-A-Z-E-L-L-E. -L -L -E. Don't sell it. Gazelle it. And uh, I highly recommend you check it out because I think you're going to love it. And we know all of our uh, our iPad Today viewers are people gunning for a new gadget. Absolutely. I love that charity out. thing. Because it's like nice? you don't even, you're not even asking people to, 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 to give anything. It's just like open up that drawer. Right. Just give you me know, an old Just donate a junk. few bucks of that stuff that right. you weren't using anyway. Makes everybody happy. Want to move on to our viewer portion of the I, show? This is a celebrity. I know. I'm so excited. I know. All we right. We have celebrity viewers. We have celebrity viewers. Uh, this one is a particularly special one. His name is Joe Mitchell. He's from Knoxville, Tennessee. And you may have recognized him from a little show called The Biggest Loser. Oh, he's the fat one. <laughs> All right, Leo. 
Okay. Uh, He's not, not that fat. They're all trying to lose weight. The point of the show is, you know, to see who's, he watches. Hi, who's the most successful. Hi, Joe. He says, uh, my name's Joe Mitchell. I'm competing on the season's Biggest Loser on NBC that starts tonight. I've been a fan since back in the Screensavers days. I wanted to let you know I'm a huge fan. I love iPad Today, Tech News Today, MacBook Weekly, Social Hour. Uh, we're all home now. He's talking about the people who have been competing. The deal is, is like, oh, yeah, because they're showing the show, it now. Yeah. So we he could tell us, but, but he won't. But they but they keep trying to lose weight, right? You know, because they they that's that's part of the deal is that you right. go home and you know have to keep it up. Uh, the finale is December thirteenth. You guys have helped me going on my iPad during those long cardio workouts. Thanks for all you do to help me get through. FYI, I use my iPhone and my iPad to keep track of all my calories each day. It's a big part of my weight loss. Wow. The iPad even makes an appearance and plays an important part at one point this season on The Biggest Loser. I want Joe to win. Joe I Mitchell. Do too. He looks like a nice guy, you too. Know, he just looks like the kind of guy I just like. You would like this guy. If you go to uh, the, the NBC, has a nice The Biggest Loser mm -hmm. page there where you can is, meet right everybody. Yep. And Joe actually has a video where um, he. he he he's got a couple of young kids, and he said, you know, a couple of years ago, a doctor had told him, boy, you know, you need to be on blood pressure medicine, and you really got to keep in mind that things you got to think about these kids, or you know, if you want to be around a long time. And it was great. really heartwarming, and I know that they're all really nice people, but Joe's got my pick. I love him, and Me I'm too. so glad that. We're helping you, you know, get through that long cardio journey of yours. Me too. That's just the best compliment ever. So, thanks so much. I used to work with Jillian. Really? Yeah. Where? KFI. Was she, she was... like a fitness person at the time, or was she? Yeah. She yeah? was so mean to me. She was mean. Get that cupcake out of your face, Laporte. Oh uh, well, I can't have people talking to me like that. <laughs> I mean, all you have to do is just like. But you know. Put a peppermint patty in my general vicinity, and everything's better. Hey, did you see? What? Oh, I probably didn't know. What? We ordered the York peppermint patties for you, and Safeway substituted them with York pumpkin patties. Yeah, you gave me one yesterday. They're, they're for holidays. Oh, yeah, that's right. You had one. <laughs> yeah, we did this. They're good. Yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't do it on camera. <laughs> we, we actually went through this. Look, here's a picture of me trying a York pumpkin patty. Look at that. That's delicious. Yum. All right, moving uh, right along. We've got letters. Moving right along. Tony mm. from across the pond says... Uh, you guys have probably heard of this whole new Facebook business. Yeah, today. A lot of people are complaining, as usual. People love to complain about changes at Facebook. But did you know that using Facebook and Safari offers essentially the same old experience that people are used to? If you want to avoid that ticker, what? just check it out on your iPad. What? Now, I'm not sure how long this is going to last. That's just a short time. I don't think that's going to, yeah. Yeah. I mean, he's right. He's right. Well, the ticker's right. not flash. Oh, huh, that's interesting. Yeah. It doesn't do it. Now, I'm not sure if it's just because things are rolling out. I mean, I don't have I don't have the new anything right now right. Um, on my profile. Profile is going to change quite do a bit. Do you have the new profile on your desktop? No. Oh, well, that's not a good test. Well, I don't. I don't. I have the new profile. I have, I have part of it, but not what they announced today. Not timeline. Yeah, that's what I mean. No, no. I don't have the, Nobody, nobody does. That, yeah. well, well, actually, I think a couple of people there's do. There's a way to get it. Don't. I, I, don't, I won't say how, but you yeah. can get it. Did you know that? Um, yeah. I think your honey I don't wrote want to about, talk it. about it. Yeah. No, it's all you just get the developer thing. Yeah. So no, I don't have the the, the ticker on mine either. So here's the the deal is is no that, that? It, my mom is actually one of these people who's like I was talking about before the show. The ticker is just how can I get anything done? It's just it's as if you know my phone's buzzing every two seconds. It's I a push it. notification. I, I can't it. deal. You love it because I you love, love distraction. Mm -hmm. That's that's your whole life. What were you saying? Exactly. Yesterday, I was trying to talk to Leo about what we were going to do on the show today, and he could barely look up from his iPad. You know what he was doing? Playing Scrabble. Yeah. <laughs> you weren't even doing anything. No. You were playing Scrabble. You were I like, have to uh -huh, concentrate. Uh-huh. 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 What? Hey, I remembered. Yeah. You, mm -hmm. you, I remembered. You told me. Yeah. No, yeah. you did. You did. Yeah. So, I guess for now, uh, Tony, you are right. There is no ticker, but I don't think that that's going to last very long because obviously Facebook no. is going to want the same experience on as many devices as possible. You know, though, we thought they would announce an iPad app today. They yes, didn't. we did. They didn't. In fact, it, the, I mean, the last five minutes of You kept Zuck's waiting for talk, one more thing? I did. I, I was... I guess deep down inside, I, I know that Mark Zuckerberg does not think that the iPad is mobile and wants to put a lot more emphasis on a good mobile experience, such as the Safari one that, well, you Well, know, they did show it. I thought that was interesting. They showed a lot of iPhone 
screenshots right. at the F8 keynote, including what the new timeline looks like on mobile, and it looked great. Right. But you don't get the mobile version of Facebook on your iPad. You get the full Safari browser experience on your iPad. I don't like the iPhone app. I mean, I know that they're going to make changes to it, but that is definitely not something that I'm ever running on my iPad. Mm. As, as far as iPhone apps running on the iPad, iPad, Facebook is not one of the better ones. So we use Friendly or you use something like that. But I don't know how something like Friendly is even going to work. I mean, Facebook yeah, is going to redesign it. All those devs, yeah, they're, they've got their work cut out for them. Anyway, so limited time only. Get your ticker free experience on the iPad. Uh, you're welcome, Mom. I know she hates that ticker. So, TechCrunch, if you really want to know how to get the timeline, TechCrunch has an article on how to force the timeline. It involves uh, signing up for a developer account. Right. And it's a little bit involved, but I'll do it after the show. It'll be it'll be worth doing. Let's move on to a voicemail now from Anonymous. Hi, Leo and Sarah. Thanks a lot for your show. It's really awesome. I listen to it every week on my long commute. Good. And I have one question for you, and it has to do with the clan case and any other keyboard that you can connect to the iPad. And I wanted to know what your opinion is of these devices and how they can help us be more productive with regard to the iPad? Do you think they're good or bad? Or what are some of the limitations with using uh, items such as the clamp case? Thanks a lot. Have a good one. Well, you know, I showed that Logitech Zag case yesterday, or last week, rather, that you put the iPad in, you open it up, and it's actually a very small case, and you get a full-size keyboard right. uh, with your iPad. I'm not a big fan of that, only because um, I think that you should use a laptop if you want a keyboard. Yeah. But there are a lot, I see it more and more people using this. And, in fact, I've even said this to people, and they say, no, I love having a keyboard. Uh, you, of course, can buy the Apple Bluetooth keyboard if you want to just carry around a keyboard. Um, it's it, not my cup of tea. How about you? Do you ever use a keyboard with your Mac? No, but, and by the way, uh, Anonymous is asking about clam case. This is, this is an example of an add-on keyboard. The clam case is nice because it can function as a keyboard case. Uh, or a stand, or a portrait stand, which is nice. Smart Carver only does yeah, this is just only does the 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 uh, landscape, um, or just a case in general. But the, it's this not, is a lot like the Zag, right? I mean, it's it's just Very one similar. of your options. Yeah. Um, it's it's a popular one, but but there are others. I don't use uh, a keyboard regularly, but there have definitely been times when I go to Hotel Baron and I have myself a glass of vino. Do you? And, and you I don't have bring your, you have your 17-inch monster. Well, I'm not going to bring You're this. You're not going to bring that. That's a tiny See, little bar. See, if you bar. had something light like this, you might, you might here, catch. But you I might bring that. Wow. Okay. Ow. All right. <laughs> sorry. That, that, I mean, you managed to bruise me. <laughs> I'm so sorry. With a MacBook You Air. really are quite fragile. Yeah. I didn't realize No, that. I'm not. <laughs> I will beat that thing back. All right. Uh, but no, I, 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 well, what I usually do is I go there, I want to be by myself, you know, and I'm just yeah, well, playing around with the iPad. Yeah, you will be. You keep this up. <laughs> but sometimes, every once in a while, I think, well, this would be a be good nice time to maybe to yeah. start writing a blog post or something. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm starting to think. And then I always abandon it because I need a keyboard. Right. You can't write anything long for no. me. I can't. Some people can. It, somebody uh, on Twitter uh, this week said it was typing on glass. And that's exactly what's that's exactly what's wrong with it. It's just weird. There's just, there's no give. There's so if you are gonna let's put it this way, if you do think you're gonna be doing text entry mm -hmm. uh, of any kind uh, for any length of period, uh, uh, length of time on the iPad, absolutely get one of these cases. Yeah. Uh, I think the clam case is great. I really like that Zag case from Logitech, ninety nine bucks, and that will let you. It turn, to me though, you might as well bring around a laptop at this point, right? Because yeah, it, it's it now you've got a laptop, so. I guess the question is, are you so in love with the, the touch interface of the iPad and the way the iPad works and the apps you've got on it that you want to use that in lieu of an iPad, then absolutely get a keyboard. Otherwise, I would look at a, you know, it's more expensive, but nine ninety nine for a MacBook Air, which is almost as light. But that's also a keyboard that never goes away. Right. So it's just, it just depends on what your usage is going to be like. I have a friend who... Um she she uh, she has a blog, and so she's writing all the time. And she said to me the other day, you know, I love your show, but I'm mm -hmm. thinking of selling my iPad. I just don't use it because mm -hmm. all I do is write. So she would be a really good candidate for a keyboard if she wanted to, you know, keep up the all right. the iPad fight. Also got a video. I think it's like he shot this with a 5D or something. The video looks beautiful about uh, VJ apps. VJ. Hey, Sarah and Leo, this is Pete from Amsterdam. Oh, my goodness. First off, I love iPad today. Second, I got a question for you. You know these programs to uh, mix up uh, music and stuff like that? Mm -hmm. um, I was wondering, 
is there any good VJing tool to mix up and mash up music with video or pictures? Uh, because uh, we've got this uh, little buddy over here from uh, to connect uh, your iPad to a screen. Uh, but I haven't found any good VJing tools to uh, good uh, yeah to support a good party. Uh, so I thought uh, perhaps you know or somebody in the audience. So uh, let me know and uh, keep up the good work. Ciao. Ciao. Party, this is like a party mix on his iPad. My first reaction is if you were to put together a cool song, he was showing us the app DJ, which right. we've talked about in the past, which is, I mean, it's a really robust DJing uh, creation app. And then brought that as an audio file into something like iMovie. Yeah. That's probably your most robust bet. I, I think it's better than any app. I, I actually, my, my app cap um, this week. We'll do that is something along the line it's a little sillier than i think he's looking for but it might be you know somewhat helpful what but about I, I mean kind of call me crazy uh -huh. but uh, remember crazy. <laughs> remember what we did uh last week with vid rhythm uh-huh oh <laughs> how could i forget i made a song for you by the way i know and i posted it on youtube i, I hope tweeted everybody tweeted it out i hope everybody saw that song i call a it a few thousand people sarah. saw it on youtube and you know it's funny yes you did it was it was what was sarah with an elv with the elven ears yes sarah and with the elven ears if you read the youtube comments i mean most people are just like this what, is so frightening what the hell is it what the hell is there something wrong why with are you? they what what happened <clears throat> to them you know there wasn't a lot of like this is awesome it was more no. fear and loathing. Yeah. But anyway. He's a little disappointed, so maybe he shouldn't use that. We just want to be provocative. Uh, that's kind of what we're going for. I, so, I guess it was just not. Yeah, I, I, I really do think that iMovie, which is like a, f what is it, $10 on the in the App Store? I've got it. Um, I think you're right. I think iMovie's a good choice. Let me, let, me, uh, let me just pull it up just to you know get a sense of I mean, iMovie on the iPad is... It, People complain about iMovie being a little too simplistic, but on the iPad, it's perfect. Because all you do, you know, you import whatever audio creation you've made, and that's actually a much better way to do it, unless you want to, I guess if you were talking about VJing live, that's a different idea. But if you just want to make some stuff that's visual for a party or something, get your audio out of the way first, figure out what you're working with audio-wise, and then add your pictures and your videos later. Um, and you just, you know, you just add them to a stream. Makes it really easy in iMovie. I think that's your best bet. Um, was it Pete? Pete? <clears throat> and then he wants to broadcast it on the uh, on the on a well, screen. Well, he's got an HDMI. The... Yeah, so he's probably got like a new projector type screen. of a thing. I think this would. I think, he's this would be I think I'd like to come to your party. Vid Rhythm. I'm telling you, it's the program you want. Vid Rhythm. <laughs> Are you playing that one? Yeah. <laughs> I think to me. <laughs> I, I just think this is I, this is the height of I love it. what one can do I don't uh, know. with the iPad. I, I, and there's dogs. And there's dogs. So it's what's not to like. Yeah. Yeah. It's that, that's 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 fun. So my my app cap actually is it's kind of along these lines. It might be somewhat helpful. Um, but before we get to that, we're going to notice. Says, I would love to see a little kid's reaction to that video. Lowering Leo. into. There's a shark. Oh, I forgot to tell you. It's Shark Week all week long on iPad today. Uh, <laughs> I hate this thing. Would you like a I pumpkin? I really dislike it. Would you it. like a pumpkin York pepper yes, patty? Yes, I do. That'll make I you would. feel better. I don't like real sharks. I don't like inflatable sharks. I don't want them in my studio. Get out of here. It's okay. He's going. Jerk. <laughs> That's a good shark. That shark takes commands. That's a great white shark. You cannot shark. knock a great white that All takes right. commands. Well, why don't you go surfing in <clears throat> Bolinas, and when you, you come ever, back, was one... you ever bit by a dead shark? Well, how is that possible? A okay. dead shark? Well, uh, did you just say was you ever bit? That's a long. Time. <laughs> <laughs> was you ever bit by a dead shark? Yes, I. Did you ever? Did yes, you ever? Were. Did you ever watch your home, your home TV uh, set up on your iPad as Books you were wandering around? Did you ever do that, eh? Well, you can with Slingbox. Yeah, 
Slingbox. It lets you hook it. Here's what happens. You go to the store and you get yourself a slingbox. You hook it up to your TV, your, your satellite, your, your DVR, your cable box, whatever you got. And then you hook that up to the Internet. And then you go around with your iPad and you can watch your own TV on the iPad or on your other computer, on your phone, I mean, or your Android. I mean, it just goes on and on and on. This is an incredible thing, and everybody ought to have it. Slingbox.com slash twit is the place to go to find out more. There's the Slingbox Solo, the Slingbox Pro. I get, get the Pro HD because that's high def, and you won't believe the quality. Now, here's a great use. You go to the ball yard, and, uh, and you're watching the ball game. And there's a, the ball a bad... The yard. The ball yard. <laughs> you're watching the ball game. It has to be... Okay. One caveat, it has to be televised. So, like, your neighborhood kickball game, that won't work. But if you're at, like, the, the Giants game, that's what we call it, the ball yard. You're at the ball yard, and you're watching the ball game, and there's a call that's disputed. You can, see, you can watch the instant replay on your iPad at the ballpark. I love that. You can watch TV... Anywhere. At the car wash. And you don't, at the car wash. You don't pay any extra because you've already paid for it. It's really great. I love it. Slingbox.com slash tweet. You'll find it at Amazon Best Buy. But just find out more. Slingbox.com slash tweet. And now, my friends. It is, it is time. It is time. For the ear flap edition <laughs> of the <Le> show. <laughs> I, I mean, that. What, what kind of an accent was that? I that don't just know. came out of me. You're talking strange, stranger. It was. I don't. I don't do a good Russian, so it just you, became you, like you a weird, should, like Transylvanian thing. You could thing. do Russian because you look Russian. You look like you could be from Russia. Uh, you, you from? know, when I was in Russia, people thought I was you Russian. Look, you have well, you know, look. the coloring is there. You have look. But you know, it's not too hard. Just kind of. No, well, it gotta it, be Russian, right. You, 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 it works out. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, I, I would like to be Russian. Maybe that'll would be you? my next language that I try to conquer that, after know, French. That's just because you like vodka. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. And it's so cheap there. It's oh, so cheap. But that's party. because he's made out of potatoes. Yeah. It's good stuff. You know, in Soviet Union, shark jumps you. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for that, and you yeah. didn't disappoint me. Yeah. All right. So, uh, got a question a little bit earlier on the show about VJing apps. I was actually going to talk about this app in my app cap last week, but I felt that it was too similar to your app cap, so I decided to wait a week. This is MadPad. It's made by our friends at school. You think this is better than FitRhythm? I think it's different. Let me okay. make sure that it's turned up It looks well. like it's doing something. Now, the, the, these are all pictures of... This is myself in my house. <laughs> I've made a bunch of sound effects. Keep your pants on. Gun show. <laughs> Okay, so you get That's the idea. Good. So what you can do and now... And you mocked me. Yeah, I mocked you. I mocked you. But this, see, I'm talented, though, so it's different. It's true. So what you can do is, like, if you if you wanted... That's my favorite one. You can start <laughs> looping that. Oh, so good. So then you can start creating a song. <laughs> None shall pass. Wow, 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 wow. And so you can Wait, start. To was there one that was? <laughs> yeah. It was it's, like a slurp. It's my soup Nazi sound effect. <laughs> now you can change the pitch a little bit. So then you go back to. <laughs> now, now I can start recording my remix, so I can make like a cool kind of thing. Now I'm not sure why why things aren't looping here. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Do you think this is actually better than the one I did last this week? This is the worst thing I've ever done on the show. Let's be clear. <laughs> <laughs> let's let's be totally honest. But you get now what? That's a good question. Now I'm gonna share with all my friends on uh, YouTube. I think that's a good idea. My wonderful mix. You get the. You get the. Here's the thing. What you do when here? Let me let me go ahead. Uh, I'm gonna start something new. All no, right. So no, I'm gonna, no, 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 no. I just want to show you how this works okay, because yeah, show it how, show us this how it was works. something that I created just to have something to show you. So. Uh, Oh, okay. This is just to try to get the room noise. The idea is that you've got this grid, uh -huh. right? And it only works in portrait mode. You're going to assign kind of those uh, sounds. 
Exactly. Now, the sounds are all assigned to an image. Hmm. Now, what I did was I just went in. You, yeah, know, you so didn't you see pay as much attention close. as you could have to Ex making those images unique and wonderful. The images could be anything. Right. You know, it could, I could have uh, had uh, taken a picture of a symbol or imported a picture of a symbol when I made the symbol noise and that sort of thing. So you can actually make it much um, so cooler and put a lot of effort into it. could very well use this for... Yeah. It's it's a sillier tool than it is something right. that's like going to be some sort of a masterpiece. Right. But that's Mad Pad, Where and it really will shark? drive you mad. Now, what now you what you want the shark? I want the shark. Now that we need him, I think the shark could come back. Two ninety nine. <laughs> well, that's good. Two ninety nine. That's a good price. Well, yeah. So three bucks. I mean, imagine how much your kids would like this. It's like it's get fun. your kids to import a little grid, and then they'll just press right. it all day long. Oh, you And they drive, can make little songs. Crazy. Yeah, they'll have, drive you crazy. You but that's kids. what kids do. So you might as well give them an might iPad, well. and then they're not tugging on your pants. Sure. The shirt hem. Sure. Yeah. You have kids. You know how it is. No, you wouldn't. I wouldn't want to give them that. To be honest with you. <laughs> it's bad enough without giving them tools to make noises like that. That's mad. No, that bad. looks cool. I'm gonna buy it's that. Fun. I am actually it's gonna fun. buy that, and yeah. I'm gonna drive you crazy. Wow, 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 wow. So mine is also a sound maker. Actually, it's interesting. It's very similar to what yours is, um, and and this started a couple of years ago. When Ambrosia Software released a program called Soundboard for the Macintosh, and uh, Jammer B, John, gave me a USB device that let me key into that and play the sound. So I had like a, a little thing that was sitting in front of me and I could play, you know, sound effects, like DJs would yeah. use these. In fact, as some people have likened it to a cart machine, which is what we had in radios. So now they have an iPad version of Soundboard. It's a little expensive. It's $10. But the no, ID... 20. 20, I mean. The idea is, it, which is cheaper, by the way, than the software was on the Mac, and you don't need the hardware piece because you essentially get a soundboard that you can assign, assign any sound to. If I go to the edit mode, you'll see how I do this. I just tap a blank uh, sound effect, and it pulls up. Now, this is the biggest negative for me. It pulls up the iTunes library. So you're going to have to take all of your sound effects and import them into the iTunes library. The nice thing is you can do it in a um, uh, batch mode. So I can go boom, 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 and add all of those at once. So this isn't a sound effects library itself. It's all stuff that you import into it. Exactly. What Got it is, it. is a, it's a player. Now I'm going to press done. It's going to take a little while because it has to. I, I clicked too many things. There we go. And now I've got buttons that play instantly. Like, listen. Oops. Oh, I'm still in edit mode. By the way, you can choose a default behavior. I always choose play. But there is a loop mode like yours was. Mm -hmm. I don't know what this piano does. I guess if, uh, if you had a software sound, you could use, uh, use it to play different, uh, different um, keys or something like that. Mostly, I would use this for sound effects. So I just press a button and it, you know, and it, plays, it plays it right away. There's level control here. You can change the volume, but usually just tap it. Laporte. <laughs> <laughs> and, and and so you can just press the buttons. Andy Anatko. And it plays it instantly. You can also have, <laughs> I know, isn't that fun? You can also have this. multiple, you can create as many as you want. So you have really kind of infinite number of sound effects. Um, coming this summer. People. And they could stop them. You could play What's many. What's coming this summer? Oh, you'll never know. Okay. You could play many at the same time. So if I hit this, this, <laughs> this, this. Well, and it crashed. <laughs> and that's where Probably we no found one. our limitations you're, you're of soundboard. Right. It's <laughs> it never happened before. That's funny. These that's are great. Right. You know, we use sound effects on TNT all the time. Jason right. could so really could, have a field day. Exactly. Like and this. you hook this up. And it, now it doesn't have any special audio out. You just play the audio out of the... Uh, the all right. Now I get it. You see how quickly it plays? And I can change the level up and down. It has some advanced features as built-in ducking, uh, which is really handy if you're going to do more than one sound effect at the same time. Um... But basically, the idea is it's a, it's a create-it-yourself soundboard uh, that plays the sound effects quite This is like my Mad Pad was like just kind of DIY a toy. type thing. Yeah. Yeah, with, with visuals attached, which, you know, right. you can make it whatever you want. This is more of like an actual tool that could really well, come in handy on a show where it could be silly, but... It doesn't exactly. have to be. That's why they're charging twenty bucks for it. Yeah. I mean, they figure uh, pros will use it. I, I'm gonna. I use it actually on the Gizwiz to play the uh, sound effects uh, for the daily Gizwiz. You know, I used to just play them off the computer, and it's so much easier uh, to play it uh, right from this, and it's instant. So you know, you, you just play it, and it starts playing right away. You have control of the volume and so forth. It's, I think this is exactly what you want if you're going to be playing back sound effects. I'll, I'll tell you what. Let's give. Let's give a copy to Jason. 
and uh, he can use it. It's, I uh, love it. Yeah. Ambrosia Software makes it. They're a longtime Mac software house. This is their first, as far as I know, first iPad app. It's called Soundboard. AmbrosiaSW.com. That's right. They've got all sorts of stuff there. Yep, yep. Well, Leo, my head is on fire under this thing. You know, that's why I stopped wearing that hat. But this I mean, one's just as hot. it's 300 degrees up here. I, I may have fried some brain cells. Uh, probably didn't need them anyway, though. No. How could you tell? How would you know? <laughs> How would you know? No, no. I just, I'm blissfully unaware of the brain yeah. cells I used to have. Yeah. But that's it. We've come to the end of our show. It was a wonderful iPad today. Episode 64 is in the can. Remember, uh, twit.tv slash IPT is our address for all things iPad today. You subscribe, watch our archives. Check in on our show notes. Make sure you didn't miss anything. And thanks so much to everybody who watched us live. It's always fun to see all the chatters uh, hanging yeah, out with us while fact, we're live. One of them is telling me there's a program very similar called Sound Q. Sound Q. does the same thing. So I'm going to look that up and I'll take you. I'll tell you what. I'll review it. And next week I'll tell you which one is better. Sound Q. They have a light version so you could try before you buy. Perfecto. And it's $15. We same also got a, um, we got a request that I thought it might be kind of fun. Uh, just a little teaser for next week to talk about bookmarklets that make the Safari browser uh, more helpful. Oh, we've never done that. Is that a whole show or just to help in how well, to Well, I think it, yeah, we, it can be our category. It can be our, our roundup. The best book. Oh, my God, list. my shoes are on fire. We better get out of here. And that's it for iPad Today. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Sarah Lane. Stop, drop, and roll. And I'm Leo Laporte. Oh! <laughs> wow, you're not ever going to get off of the floor. Are you? This, I mean, this show ended in an awkward way, even for us. 